Hey guys, it's Poseidon here with IGR, and today we got the achievement slash trophy list for the new DLC pack 3, Vengeance, and it's the Buried Zombie map. We got 10 new achievements slash trophies, so I wanted to talk about them. And the first one is, it's a silver trophy, it's the only silver trophy, the rest of them are bronze, but I'm assuming this is, has to do with the Easter egg, since it's silver and it's the only silver one. But there's also a couple other achievements that look like they could be Easter egg wise, so we'll check those out when we get to them. But this one's called Mind Games and Buried Be Their Pawn, so again, I'm thinking that's Easter egg wise. To the next trophy Ectoplasmic Residue and Buried Acquire a Perk for Free. Now, Ectoplasmic is said to be associated with the formation of spirits, but uh, I'm thinking like the ghost lady that we saw in the Replacers 3 trailer type of deal, so I'm thinking she will give us a free perk if we like probably knife her or. 100% accuracy like in Dire Eyes, I'm not quite sure yet, but I enjoy that we're getting perks for free again because I like having six perks instead of just four to narrow it down to. I'd like to have all of them, so that's pretty helpful. Now to the next trophy. I'm your Huckleberry and buried access all areas with the help of your new friend in one game. Now I'm assuming Huckleberry is the 12 foot tall guy that likes sugar, so we're going to start calling him Huckleberry from now on, I guess. And apparently he can open areas instead of just kill zombies and be by your side, so we'll probably see what else he can do. Maybe he can pack a bunch of gun for us. I'm not quite sure, but I we'll guess we'll see on Tuesday. Now the next trophy is... Death from Below, and Barry dropped the beat on 10 zombies in one game. I'm not quite sure what this is, but my theory is maybe since it's set in the old Wild West that we could be using dynamite to kill zombies. I'm not quite sure, but that's my guess and my theory of it. So, yeah, to the next trophy. Candy Graham and Barry to make a candy delivery. Obviously, we're going to free Huckleberry from the jail sale and give him candy, and so he'd help us and be by our side. So, obviously, I'm pretty sure that's what's it. Next one, Revisionist Historian, and Buried Rewrite History. So, this could be another Easter egg type related deal, sort of like in Moon, where we had the Slumber Party, and then we had the Big Bang Theory, or in uh, Mob of the Dead, where we got the 75 Gamer Score achievement to go to the bridge, and then we had Pop Goes the Weasel. So, I'm not quite sure. Uh, I guess we'll find out on Tuesday when we start searching for the Easter egg. Next one is Mazed and Confused, and Buried survive an entire round within the maze on round 20 or higher. So, apparently we're going to have a maze, that's another thing we could probably get trapped in easily, maybe Huckleberry can help us out. But, uh, apparently we have a maze that's probably going to be included with the Easter egg somehow, I have little hints and clues around there. But, uh, maze, man, I'm not sure what they're going to do with that, I can't wait to see that and see where it's at and get this achievement, but, uh... Yeah, I have no idea what to say here, but uh, Easter egg wise, and yeah, getting trapped easy. <laughs> so, on to the next trophy F Cert against the wall. And Buried purchased the LSAT off the wall and pocket punch it. So, the LSAT's only been available in very few zombie maps, and you can only acquire it from the box, so you can get pretty much a crazy amount of points. I'm wondering how much this gun will be. It has to be above five grand. If it's not, then wow. But, uh, yeah, it gives you a crazy amount of ammo, but you run out of ammo quickly, especially if you pack a bunch of it and have double tap. But, uh, we'll get points forever on that if we just keep on buying off the wall and getting that. So now the next one is, when the revolution comes, and buried, return to processing. So I'm not sure about this. I'm just going to comment maybe again Easter egg-wise. So I think there's three related achievements slash trophies for Easter egg-wise. So, uh, yeah, I'm not sure about what comment or even do this except for return to processing, what it says in the description. So I'm just going to move on to the next trophy. This is the last final trophy called Awaken the Gazebo. And buried, pack a punch weapon during round one with no using the bank or a weapon locker. So, apparently there's going to be a bank, we saw that in the Replacers trailer, and I wonder if it'll transfer over, like with Transit and Die Rise, we just got a new update in Die Rise, you can check that out in the previous video. Uh, Die Rise just got a new banking system and a new fridge system, and uh, you store a weapon in the fridge just like you did in Transit, and the points transfer over from Transit, and so does the gun, if the gun is in the maps, so we'll have to see there. But uh, this is the last achievement, and I can't wait to find the bank, and it'll probably be easy to find since we saw it in the trailer. But uh, I wonder where the weapon locker will be, if it'll be close, or if it'll be like transit where you have to make quite a few stops to get to it. So, let me know your guys' 
thoughts and comments, comment down below. Like the video if you like this achievement list. Subscribe for more zombies, and we're going to be doing Buried on day one this Tuesday. So subscribe to stay tuned for that. And it's Poseidon, and I'll see you guys later. Yeah.